time to see what is a reduced property. Probably you were wondering why were we studying critical points, essentially critical temperature and critical pressure. And the thing is that we need those to then be able to reduce the properties. So they reduce them here. And what is a reduced property? Essentially, this reduced property equals to the actual temperature the gas is divided in this temperature, which is the critical temperature. And essentially, it's done with pressure and volume as well. So think as it as it were a standardization of that substance because there are many critical values, for example, for water, for CO2, for SO2, etc. So if you divide the actual temperature of those gases and their critical values, you will have a basis of comparison. You will be able to compare them because you already standardized them. And probably you are wondering, how do I calculate that? Uh, I bring you a small exercise here about reduced temperature and reduced pressure of water as room, uh, room temperature and let's suppose also room pressure or atmospheric pressure. So I got into the books or Wikipedia, wherever you get the data, you got this critical point of temperature and this critical pressure. Now what do you need to do essentially? By definition, the reduced temperature is equal to the temperature divided by the critical temperature. What's that temperature? It's 374 Celsius. But, uh, let me see, where is it? No, the temperature you're talking about is essentially the room temperature, which is 25 Celsius. And it's very important to convert it to absolute temperature, guys. From now on, you are not able to use Celsius or Fahrenheit. You need to use always absolute temperature. Now, this is the actual temperature, which will be around 298 Kelvin. And it's divided by the critical temperature in Kelvin. But I don't have it in Kelvin, so I must change that. 374 Celsius plus 273 Kelvin. You will get something around, uh, something like this. And something, 0 0.045, something like that. This in the next slide. And for pressure, the same case. What's the actual pressure? room temperature and room or atmospheric pressure is one atmosphere divided by the pressure here and yes you will get a value very very small you got the data here so the reduced temperature is 0.46 and the reduced pressure is 0.0045 so if you wanted to let's say compare a CO2 gas and you have a reduced temperature of I don't know maybe 1 you will see that this Compared with this critical flu uh, temperature, this is a little bit more heated or has more temperature. It's more the temperature is higher compared with that of the water or what is experiencing the water. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues, or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.